welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss a question which says that Prove that the circles x square plus y square minus 8x plus 6y plus 16 is equal to 0 and x square plus y square plus 4x minus 10y minus 20 is equal to 0 touch externally at a point also find its point of contact. Now before starting the solution of this question we should know some results. First is two circles touch externally if D is equal to R1 plus R2 where D is the distance between the centers of the two circles and R1 and R2 are the radii of the two circles. Second is the point of contact divides the line joining the centers of the two circles in the ratio of the radii internally for external contact and externally for internal contact. That is the general equation of the circle is x square plus y square plus 2gx plus 2fy plus c is equal to 0. Where center of the circle, that is the coordinates of the center of the circle, are given by minus g minus f and the radius of the circle is given by square root of g square plus f square minus c. Now these results will work out as a key idea for solving out this question. And now we will start with the solution. Now the equation of the first circle is given to us. So given the equation of the first circle is x square plus y square minus 8x plus 6y plus 16 is equal to 0. Now this is the general equation of the circle. Now comparing this with the general equation of the circle, here 2g is equal to minus 8 and 2f is equal to 6. This implies g is equal to minus 4 and f is equal to 3. Now, the center C1 of the circle which is given by this equation, that is the equation number 1 is minus g minus f. Now, putting the values of g and f here, this will be equal to minus of minus 4 and minus 3 which is equal to 4 minus 3. And radius R1 of the first circle which is given by equation number 1 is square root of g square plus f square minus c. Now c is 16 here and this is g and this is f. Putting all these values here, this will be equal to square root of minus 4 square plus 3 square minus 16, which is equal to square root of 16 plus 9 minus 16, which is equal to root 9, which is equal to 3. 
Therefore, radius I1 is equal to 3 units. Now, this is the equation of the second circle. Now, given the equation of the second circle is x square plus y square plus 4x minus 10 y minus 20 is equal to 0. Now, comparing this with the general equation of the circle, here, 2z is equal to 4 and 2f is equal to minus 10, which implies g is equal to 2 and f is equal to minus 5. Now, let this be equation number 2. Now, the center, C2, of the circle which is given by equation number 2, is minus g minus f. Now this is g and this is f here. So this is equal to minus 2 and minus of minus 5 which is equal to minus 2, 5. Now the radius r2 of the circle which is given by equation number 2 is square root of g square which is 2 square plus f square which is minus 5 square minus c which is minus 20. So it will be minus of minus 20 which is further equal to root 4 plus 25 plus 20 which is equal to square root of 49 which is equal to 7. Therefore, R2 is equal to 7 units. Now this is the center C1 and this is the center C2. So here, the coordinates of center C1 are 4 minus 3 and the coordinates of center C2 are minus 2, 5. Now, let this be x1 by 1 and this be x2 by 2. So, by distance formula, distance c1, c2 is equal to square root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square, which is equal to square root of minus 2 minus 4 whole square plus 5 minus of minus 3 whole square which is further equal to square root of minus 2 minus 4 is minus 6 and minus 6 square is 36 plus 5 minus of minus 3 is 5 plus 3 which is 8 and 8 square is 64. So this is equal to square root of 100 which is equal to 10. So the distance C1, C2 is equal to 10 units. Now we have to prove that these two circles touch externally at a point. Now using the first result which is given in the key idea, this is R1 and this is R2. Now, R1 plus R2 is equal to 3 plus 7 which is equal to 10 units. Therefore, the distance between the centers which is C1, C2 is equal to R1 plus R2 which is equal to 10 units. Thus, the given circles touch each other externally. Now, we have to find the point of contact of the two circles. Now, using the second result, which is given in the key idea, now, the point of contact 
let it be P X Y divides the line joining the centers of the two circles that is C1 C2 in the ratio of their radii that is R1 is to R2. Now R1 is 3 and R2 is 7 units. So the ratio will be equal to 3 is to 7. Now the point of contact PXY divides the line joining the centers of the two circles C1, C2 in the ratio 3 is to 7. Now we have to find the coordinates of P. And that we can find by using the section formula. First of all here, let this be x1, y1, this be x2, y2, and this be m1 is to m2. Now, by section formula, coordinates of P are given by the formula m1 x2 plus m2 x1 all upon m1 plus m2 and m1 y2 plus m2 y1 all upon m1 plus m2. Now putting all these values here, this will be equal to 3 into minus 2 plus 7 into 4 whole upon 3 plus 7. And here it will be 3 into 5 plus 7 into minus 3 whole upon 3 plus 7. Further, this is equal to minus 6 plus 28 whole upon 10 and here 15 minus 21 whole upon 10. Further, this is equal to 22 by 10 and minus 6 by 10. On solving this, this will be equal to 11 by 5 and minus 3 by 5. Therefore, point of contact of the two circles is 11 by 5 and minus 3 by 5. So this is the solution of the given question and that's all for this session. Hope you all have enjoyed the session.